Well, the Ghana Medical Association, as GMA, has also called on government to declare a lockdown with immediate effect over the coronavirus spread. Uh, the association wants only essential services allowed. A statement issued and signed by its general secretary uh, noted that the lockdown, though not a comfortable decision for leadership and citizens alike, is a proven option backed by signs and along with other measures will ultimately be in the country's best interest. The association called on all Ghanaians to support such a move in the national interest to save the, na the nation from the devastating effects of the coronavirus pandemic. I've been joined on the telephone by Dr. Titus Boyo, who is a Deputy General Secretary of the Ghana Medical Association. I want to thank you very much, Dr. Boyo, for time this evening. Now, there's been proposals that there should be a gradual lockdown, but you are calling for a national lockdown. Why is that the case? Okay. Um, I don't know. Uh, the definition of lockdown, lockdown varies from person to person. And I don't know if there's any, uh, whoever proposes a gradual lockdown, what exactly they mean. Okay, so they're talking <laughs> about, not to interrupt you, they're talking about Kuma, uh, Accra and Kumasi because these places have recorded cases. We could start from there and gradually do an evaluation of the situation before a national lockdown. Okay, we, in principle, we will not be against that. But the truth is, there are a lot of... Um, Ghanaian residents and Ghanaians who came into the country who were asked to self-quarantine or self-isolate. That after the travel advice that was given by the government prior to the closure of our borders. And these people are across the country. We do not know if all of them are in Accra and Kumasi. And so if there is the potential that there is um, an ongoing community spread it's just that we may not have diagnosed it yet. And so if we are going in for the lockdown, we think we should do it nationwide, control this thing efficiently, and move on. But if government chooses to start with Accra and Kumasi, in principle, it will not be bad. But we have to evaluate it and go. But we certainly think that something must be done. Okay, so Dr. Boyo, your, your point is that uh, we, we should look at it this way. To the extent that there are people who actually came into the jurisdiction prior to the mandatory quarantine which started on Saturday, which has actually produced 38 out of the 68 positive cases, we should have a total lockdown. We think so. We think we should have a nationwide lockdown and then trace these people and have all of them tested. Because our initial interaction and feedback we are getting is that most of them did not obey the self-isolation rules. I see. Uh, and we've had cause to call on government to try and enforce this in an earlier statement. I see. But quickly, in 30 seconds, you're on the front line. Just paint to me how the picture really looks like uh, with respect to what we are faced with right now. So it's a very uh, difficult time. And uh, I side with the president when he says we are in times that are not normal times. Because the truth is, as a doctor, when you go to the clinic and the patient clean, you are not able to. You see, once you're having community spread, it's very difficult for you now to tell who your next patient, which of your next patients may actually be carrying this condition. There is pre triaging instituted at the various right. facilities, and now we can no longer rely on only travel history because there's community spread. And that is a real danger facing all frontline health workers across the country. Okay. Dr. Titus Bayo, thank you for your time this evening. Dr. Titus Bayo is the Deputy General Secretary of the Ghana Medical Association. They are now calling for a nationwide lockdown.